All right, so what I want to do here this morning is give you a quick tour of this uh, call to action shots uh, video template that we've just added to mockups360.com. As you've probably already seen it in the promo video, you can use this template to create uh, cool shots like these that can be used to wrap up your product videos. And then at the same time, you can easily use shots like these uh, on their own if you are building some simple video ads for Facebook or Instagram. All right, and I think the best way to start here would be to go through all of these folders one by one and unpack everything that comes with this template. So as advertised, we have a total of 13 animated shots here, and they are organized into three categories. First one is single product shots. And so as you can see here, it's shots like this that uh, contain only one product in them. And here's another one where the bottle comes in like that. And then say this guy is called top view, which means that the camera is looking down at the product as if it was sitting on the surface. Where in these shots, the camera appears to be looking at the product front on. The next one is combo shots. And what we have here is a bottle as well as a packaging box. And again, we have a couple of different variations. And then finally here we have some pack shots and pack shots can be used to show a whole pack of products. So maybe you have a number of different flavors or variations. And so you can use these shots for that. So like in this example, I could start by highlighting one product, but then say, Hey, we actually have a whole range of products on our store, right? So this should give you plenty of options regardless of the product that you're trying to advertise. Now, as you'll notice, uh, these shots have a product animating in as well as the copy. But you might say, you know what, they look a little bare and boring. But that's actually done this way by design. Clearly, every brand is different. Um, and so the idea here is to give you a good starting point and then uh, keep it simple so that you can quickly um, customize and adjust these shots uh, to your liking. And so as you can see, all of these items can be selected and they are all editable. So we can move them if we want uh, without destroying any of their animation. We can edit them just like that and say, I can take this lotion bottle here and I can say, our brand X. And we can change the font here to something a little more prestigious, something like that, you know. And now if I preview the animation, I can see that it all still animates correctly. So this makes it very easy to edit the copy uh, while retaining the animation that comes with the shot. And then if you want to, you can even uh, copy and paste these elements between different shots. If say you like um, title animation better in a, in a different shot. Okay. So next let's take a look at this button. Now at the moment it says get now, but we can change this with a couple of clicks and let me show you how that's done as this button has a couple of very nice controllers that we've uh, built to it. So let's find it here. It's called uh, get now. And let's say we want to change it to learn more. All right. So we can duplicate this guy. I'm going to call it learn more so that I know which one is which replace it here. And now I can go inside its comp and you'll see here that we have a settings layer. So over here, we have a whole bunch of settings that we can use to adjust the, the look of this button. We can change it from flat to maybe a gradient, 3D button, an outline. And there's a whole bunch of things here that we can adjust uh, uh, to create a custom button. So maybe I'll keep this as a gradient and then quickly change these colors. We can change the font, its name. And the cool thing about this button is that it automatically adjusts uh, its size to the new copy. And there we have it. Super easy. 
And if I just swap these guys, you can see that I can create all these different buttons uh, using these very same settings. And then at the same time, we have a whole bunch of uh, other elements uh, here, like these benefits or the logo that you can add to your scene. And you can customize these uh, as well to suit the design of the shot that you're going after. All right, and next we have some backgrounds. And so all we have to do here is select the background here. Select this guy here, uh, hold the Alt or the Option key and drag it over like this to replace it. So this is a bathroom shot that uh, could suit a cosmetics or, or a beauty product. We also have a hospital shot. And then you can go into it and tweak its colors if you need to. We have a gradient. And then we can change all this copy to white. And that's going to look quite nice. Then we have a liquid surface, which has some nice bokeh and uh, an animated reflection on the floor. And then we have a, just a solid color or a solid color with uh, a little vignette uh, here towards the edges. And then if you want to, you can go in here, go background and make it a little more blue. And there you have it, right? Super, super easy. Finally, let me show you how to add a mockup to the scene. So say you bought a product mockup on our store. And let's say it's this cream tube. And it looks like this when you import it uh, to your scene. So I open up this guy. And then in my shot, I can see that this bottle is floating. So I want to find a tube that's floating as well. Drag it over like that using the Alt key and replace it. And maybe it's a little too small. So I make it 55. That looks about right. And if I preview it, I can see that the tube uh, has retained that rotation and it's interacting with the shot uh, exactly the same as that bottle did. So there you have it. Uh, that's our new call to action shots video template. It currently comes with 13 shots, but, uh, but I'm sure we're going to add plenty more of them uh, over time. So I hope this gave you a good overview of this template and uh, as always, feel free to contact us if you have any questions uh, before buying it.